In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to CVP analysis, cost, volume, profit analysis. We'll go through the questions and then we'll use test taking skills, practicing test taking skills with them. First question, a method that estimates cost behavior by using only the highest and lowest volume levels, A, scatter method, B, average method, C, least squares method, D, high low method, E, silly method. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. A, method that estimates cost behavior by using only the highest and lowest volume levels. A, uh, the scatter method. So that doesn't seem quite right. Scattered seems like a lot of levels between high and low. B, the average method. That seems kind of reasonable because we're using the highest and lowest. Maybe that's some kind of average. Uh, C says least squares method. Uh, and that sounds probably familiar, so I'll keep it for now. D says high-low method. That sounds reasonable. Sounds like something familiar, and it has the highest and lowest kind of in the words of it. That seems reasonable. E says a silly method. And, yeah, you know, they probably wouldn't be asked a completely silly question. So I would say probably not E. We'll go with B, C, and D. Go through it again. A method that estimates cost behavior by using only the highest and lowest uh, volume levels. Either B, average method, C, least squares method, or D, high-low method. Now, of those three, D sounds kind of like it fits almost too well, but, but it also sounds familiar. The high-low method should be familiar. You note that it seems like it's a kind of average. To use this method seems like a kind of average because we're averaging the high and low method. You could argue that A is therefore correct in some way. However, probably not going to win that argument because D is more proper and that's the term that's typically used whether it's the most correct answer so you would probably want to go with the most correct answer even though you could make a case maybe for an average we'll go with d as the final answer a method that estimates cost behavior by using only the highest and lowest volume levels d high low method next question the sales level where there is neither a profit nor loss a relevant range B, margin of safety. C, minimum sales level. D, break-even point. E, at, le at least no loss point. <laughs> okay, let's go through this again using the process of elimination. The sales level where, where there is neither a profit nor loss. A, and, and we should have an idea of this because this is like the core calculation of the break-even or the... <laughs> That's the end of the break-even point. This is the core type of calculation in the, co in the CVP analysis, cost, volume, profit analysis, is the break-even point. So we would be looking for a question with a break-even point. This sounds like the question related to the break-even point, and it is. So the relevant range, we're not considering really the relevant range because there's only one point where it's going to be a break-even in terms of sales dollars. That'll be you know, the break-even point we'll typically have, not, a, not really a range. Margin of safety. Uh, you can consider the break-even point kind of like a, you, you would think, man, maybe that's a safety point. But it's really the, a point, uh, and the margin means kind of like a range again, and that's going to be some point above the break-even points. So that's why it's not that one. Minimum sales level. Again, you might think that. I mean, I want to have a minimum sales level to where we break even. That sounds like reasonable, but the point is the break-even point. And then at least no loss point is the... Is the and that's not really a term, but that sounds familiar. That's what the break-even point kind of is. At least there's a no-loss point. You can call it that if you want. But the break-even point is the term that will typically be used. So, and again, that's going to be our fundamental term. We're looking for a break-even point type of question because that's going to be a one of the most fundamental type of terminologies uh, that we'll have. It's kind of like the starting point oftentimes of the CVP analysis that we'll use to then uh, branch out from. Final answer, the sales level where there is neither a profit nor loss, D, break-even point. Next question, the difference between sales price per unit and variable cost per unit, A, gross profit point, B, gross margin uh, per unit, C, fixed cost per unit, D, margin of safety per unit, and E, contribution margin per unit. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. The difference between sales price per unit and variable cost per unit. Again, very fundamental term for CVP analysis. We should kind of have an idea of this. We got sales price, variable cost. Is that going to be the gross profit per unit? 
that might sound familiar. Uh, I'll keep that uh, for now, gross profit point, or B says gross profit per unit. We might, of between those two, consider the second one because it's a per unit number. So maybe we could eliminate A. C says fixed cost per unit. Now this doesn't, it doesn't seem like fixed between the sales price per unit and the variable cost. You might think that, that maybe that's going to be the fixed cost, but this is the sales price. If it were total cost, then we might be left with just a fixed cost, but here, no. And then D says margin of safety per unit. Uh, and again, it sounds kind of reasonable because it's the amount over the variable cost, but that's not that's not it either. Because usually we're talking about margin of safety is not that's not the calculation of it. And E says the contribution margin per unit. And by this point, you should be feeling or understanding that that contribution margin is a term that will be coming up a lot. We need to basically understand that. So let's keep it at B and E. Go through this again. The difference between sales price per unit and variable cost per unit is either the gross margin per unit or the contribution par margin per unit. And the difference between those two is really kind of the difference between, you know, this is a financial accounting term. Sales minus usually the cost of goods sold is, is going to be the gross profit type of, type of concept. Whereas when you're talking about the contribution margin, that's a CVP type of analysis concept where we have the sales minus the variable cost, which is what we're talking about here, fundamental term per unit. Make sure we have the difference between per unit and total kind of uh, parsed out in our minds as well. Final answer, the difference between sales price per unit and variable cost per unit, E, contribution margin per unit.